you will have uh, terminology, and then you'll have cases. You cite the cases. You know, Hadley v. Baxendale, or whatever it is. Cite the, the, the leading cases under those points of law because you'll, you, you'll have to generally have a, an understanding uh, or a recognition of how these cases fit into what you're learning. Okay? That's very important. It's incumbent upon you to use those cases. Now, very often in uh, the heat of an exam, you may not feel comfortable citing the case. If you don't feel comfortable, don't cite the case. If you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, yep, they're talking about this particular case, and there's no doubt in your mind, cite the case, okay? But we'll get to that later. Right now we're talking about the outline, and in the outline, you cite the cases. Um, examples of the rule of law. Pretty straightforward. Examples of, show how the, how the rule of law is, is used in, in, in different examples. Uh, exceptions. Now, that's a tricky one because sometimes you will find that there are certain kinds of exceptions in tort law. There are certain kinds of exceptions in property law. There are certain kinds of exceptions in, in criminal law. Okay? You have to know what the exceptions are. So those exceptions have to go into your outline. All right. Then you get to the principle of law, the minority view. The whole first section was the majority view. Now you do the same thing. Repeat the same thing for the minority view. What do the, what, what's the minority view? Whatever it is. Whatever, uh, what, under any given principle of law, cite it. Put it in your outline. Write it down. Know it. And when you get to you know, the exam, you'll have it there right in front of you. Now, the other thing you want to do is put down some, put, include your notes. You're going to have some very important notes. Uh, and this is an uh, organic effort. This is something that you will be creating for yourself, many cases by yourself, and you will have elements that you will understand very clearly, and then there are things that are hard for you to, 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 to grasp at first blush. What you need to do is include your notes, helpful notes, the things that help you to understand that area of law. Maybe it's a phrase, maybe it's a sentence, maybe it's some sort of uh, mnemonic device or whatever it is. Use whatever you can to uh, expand your outline as part of your own, your own notations. Use those notes in your outline. And let me just say this. Uh, you will hear all kinds of stories, horror stories about the cat ate the outline or my outline got, you know, thrown into the garbage by accident. Be a sport. Make a copy. Okay? It should not be one single piece of paper that you are going to be depending upon when you walk into the exam. You have access to copy machines. And in many cases, you will be preparing your outline on a computer. Some people like the intimacy of a pen and a piece of paper when they're creating the outline. More power to you. But whatever you do, don't have just one outline. Believe me. Some of the horror stories are real. I've, I, 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 can, I, I can tell you that I know uh, I, that they're real. All right? So you don't want to have a situation where, for whatever reason, your outline is not with you when you walk into the exam room uh, for your first year law exam. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you are, you're, you're smart. You're intelligent. You, you've, you've done outlining before. This outline is, is, uh, is, is, is more significant uh, toward uh, your career goals than most outlines you've ever made before, but it, it, it's a tool. It's, a, it's, it's something that, that we, we've all done. It's, it's not rocket science, but it's, it's law, and it's very important. And uh, if you put in the effort, you put in the time, you, you get to understand how this, this, this thing works, and uh, you write clearly and legibly, You'll be okay.